Vitiligo is a chronic, gotten, autoimmune skin disease identified by the look of distinct, depigmented locations of the skin due to the absence of features and also loss of melanocytes, the cells responsible for coloring. The sores can be of any type of shape and size as well as can influence any part of the skin as well as likewise mucosa. This condition is manifested by the look of white lesions resulting from the lack of pigment in the skin. These injuries resulting from the aforementioned process, have a variable dimension and their advancement, as well as a location in the various parts of the body, is not foreseeable, although, in the most widespread kind of vitiligo. In proportion vitiligo, the sores often tend to show up on both sides of the body in comparable areas. The appearance of the skin does not transform. Vitiligo is not contagious and also its consequences are basically aesthetic, and as a result psychosocial. This condition is manifested by the look of white lesions resulting from the absence of the pigment in the skin. These injuries arising from the previously mentioned process, have a variable dimension and the development and area in the different parts of the body are not direct. Although, in one of the most prevalent sorts of vitiligo, symmetrical vitiligo, the sores have a tendency to show up on both sides of the body in similar areas. The texture of the skin does not change. Vitiligo is not infectious and also its effects are basically aesthetic, and for that reason psychosocial. Non-segmental vitiligo. Acrofacial, influences face, head, hands, and feet, especially finishes of the fingers as well as region around the mouth. Mucosal, influences the oral and also genital mucosa. Generalized or typical, influences any kind of part of the body in a generally balanced method. Universal, stretches 80 to 90% of the skin's surface. Blended. Uncommon. Segmental vitiligo, impacts independent sections with respect to the midline of the body. Vitiligo not classifiable, when a tarnish affects bilaterally or influences a single mucosa. Symmetric vitiligo. According to the last mention made in this regard by Vitiligo European Task Force VETF, the Association of European Vitiligo Specialists, within general or universal vitiligo, symmetric vitiligo is the most predominant. Characterized by the appearance of depigmented lesions on both sides of the body in similar areas. The most commonly affected areas are face, acrofacial vitiligo, fingers, pubis, armpits, knees or hips, although injuries can appear anywhere on the body. The reason why there is a majority tendency to the appearance of injuries in certain areas is due to the existence of mechanical stress joints or to the existence of border areas between two types of skin, opening of the nose, the edge of lips, anal region, eyelids, ears. Segmental vitiligo. This less regular sort of vitiligo is characterized by the appearance of depigmented locations on one side of the body, and also after the onset of the illness, it develops for three to six months, after that stabilizing. Just 4% of situations of segmental vitiligo broaden after these three to six months. Usually, in this sort of vitiligo, all the melanocytes in the affected locations go away. Including those that exist in the hair roots, which is why the hair that exists in the lesion is also depigmented. Segmental vitiligo has a high percentage of favorable feedbacks to the surgical strategy of the autologous melanocyte micrograft. This approach, established mostly by Andreas Overbeck, a German vitiligo surgeon, combined with UVB light excitement accomplishes repigmentation in 95% of those affected. It seems that in cases of segmental vitiligo, today, it is one of the most efficient techniques. Public health. The prevalence of this condition is between 0.2 as well as 2% of the population. No differences by sex or ethnicity. Vitiligo can appear at any type of age, although in the majority of people with this genetic tendency, it takes place prior to the age of 20. Etiology. The etiology of vitiligo is not established. It is a polygenic and multifactorial illness. Along with hereditary factors, immunological, neurohormonal, cytotoxic and biochemical systems, for instance, oxidative tension, have been suggested at the beginning. The appearance of vitiligo results from the concurrence of a hereditary predisposition inherited or de novo, and a reaction of the immune system to a trigger element. 
This reaction is the process by which the client's immune system generates antibodies that damage melanocytes, therefore of a response triggered by elements such as various types of tension, hormone changes, burns or injuries, among others. Hereditary aspects. The oldest evidence of blood relation to vitiligo was released by Thomas Addison in 1855, offering a patient with colloquial adrenal deficiency, generalized vitiligo, and also destructive anemia. In the 1950s, Stuttgen and also Tyndall defined multigenerational households whose members had several situations of generalized vitiligo and also various other autoimmune conditions, ending that it was feasible that it was an autosomal leading disease. Subsequently, numerous research studies verified the presence of generalized vitiligo in particular family members. Nonetheless, the hereditary basis of the condition cannot be explained simply by Mendel's legislations. There is insufficient penetrance, the susceptibility of multiple loci, and hereditary diversification. Other aspects. Presently, there is preliminary evidence connecting gluten consumption with the growth of vitiligo in some people. Actually, individuals with vitiligo belong to the so-called threat teams for gastric disease, in which their existence ought to be assessed. Also in the lack of digestion signs and symptoms since both diseases appear often linked as well as the gastric condition normally happens without pain stomach or these go unnoticed. Medical image. It is identified by the appearance of locations of depigmentation in the form of progressively growing macules, with sharp edges and white color in cases with an inflammatory part. The inflamed boundary appears increased, scratchy and red. Changes in skin accessories, graying of hair, alopecia areata, might also appear. Diagnosis. The medical diagnosis is clinical, with the nude eye or by evaluation under Wood's light. Therapy. The first-line therapy of vitiligo includes topical corticosteroid lotions betamethasone, clobetasol, or calcineurin inhibitors tacrolimus, pomecrolimus, accomplishing repigmentation. In between 42 and 65% of cases, kids have beneficial reactions nine times more than grown-ups. Secondly, systemic drugs are utilized. Corticosteroids, particularly dexamethasone administered orally in regular pulses, detain the development of vitiligo in more than 90% of situations. Dental minocycline is comparable in its outcomes with dexamethasone. Although there is presently no conclusive cure for this illness, there are treatments with which a high portion of success can be attained in the repigmentation of the influenced areas mainly those whose therapeutic basis is a method for using UVB, specific UV light. For this pathology, in the mix with immunosuppressants. Similarly, there are medical techniques that are normally limited to particular situations, such as segmental vitiligo, hair transplant of melanocytes with the recell technique promoted micrographs, see segmental vitiligo, as well as skin transplants. A current instance of total repigmentation has actually been defined in a girl after the medical diagnosis of celiac illness and the beginning of the gluten-free diet regimen, only with dietary treatment, without any various other added treatments. Examination. Two documented situations in vitiligo people, in which both topical treatments and phototherapy had actually stopped working, accomplished some degree of repigmentation with a gluten-free diet plan. In the first case, the person undertook synchronized treatment with oral dapsone and a gluten-free diet plan. In the second case, modern repigmentation was attained for three years, with long-term effects at follow-up, only with the rigorous and kept gluten-free diet, without any type of traditional treatment.